Hello everyone. In this video we will see what is class constructor, what the method is defined and how it is called, how we can define class constructor in Java and see some other details. Let's go. Let's have a quick look of Java class definition. We have here class defined, class name person, and that is our Java class between those brackets. Now, we have attributes as we saw in the previous video. So it is string name int age, and we have something new here that is method and not just common method, it's specific method called class constructor, Java class constructor. And you will recognize it always because its name is same as the name of Java class. So we have person and person with specific brackets. And now in other pair of brackets, we do constructor defining what we want constructor to do. Uh, let's go to our NetBeans and to see some code. Okay. Now let's see in the source code what the class constructor is, where we define it and how we can define it. So we explained in the previous video how to create Java class and how to make an object from that class. Now we will explain what is method, specific method, what is class constructor. So every cl class constructor we can find in the main program when creating an object from that class. So we have here class person and object name P equals keyword new and class constructor. This is class constructor, specific method called same as the class just has something more. Let's see what. So these brackets precisely mean that it is method like we have declared other method here we didn't define it we will do it in next videos and now every every class has default its constructor and we don't need to define it specifically but if we want to make our class constructor do something more rather than just creating an object we have to define it so we are going to do it public person we have to have brackets and in other brackets other kind of brackets we go to make a definition what do we want to do sorry so an object is created congrats So now we will have something very interesting. Okay, so now our, our class constructor will make this an output. Besides, besides that, he will create an object we need. So when we run now our program, look at here. So we have on the output something that class constructor did. We didn't write it here, please create an object, etc. etc. If if we make one more object P1 equals sorry new person, then we will see twice this message. Object is created. Look at here. So as many as object we create so that that much messages we will have because the constructor class constructor will be called that much time we can define anything what we want here in the class constructor to do much more complex things than just simple output but we will leave that for some other videos and this is enough for being for beginning thank you for watching this video please share and subscribe